Hi everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I've got a nice commission to do, really fun commission. You might remember a few weeks, probably a couple of months ago, I did Dutch pour spirals. Um, I did a couple of them, two separate paintings. Um, I've got a commission to do a diptych, which means two paintings, but having the spirals going in the opposite direction. So one will go clockwise, the other will go um, anti-clockwise. So very similar to that I've done before, but my challenge is going to be to do two that match, so two that make a pair. So I've got loads of paints mixed up. I've mixed my paints with PVA glue and water. Um, it's a new recipe, so I've mixed them roughly, two parts PVA glue pouring medium, one part paint, and half a part water. Where I've used an iridescent colour, I've used one part water, just to thin it down a bit more. Um, I'm new to Dutch pour consistency with PVA glue. I'm just experimenting with it, just to keep the cost of the pouring medium down. So we'll see how this works. Um, so yeah, really excited to get started. So I'll just show you my setup. So I've got two canvases ready and levelled. They're both 50 centimetre square. You can see they've both got a spiral. So I found the centre of the painting and then I've just sketched on roughly a spiral, but in opposite directions. So this one's going anti-clockwise. This one's going clockwise. And then I've just got a whole rainbow of paints. So reds, I've mixed an orange there because I wanted a more yellowy orange. Yellow, greens, three greens, a turquoise, three blues, couple of purples, couple of violets, couple of pinks, all mixed up there, all ready to go. So my first challenge with this painting is getting the camera up high enough to get both um, canvases in view. And I think I've managed to do that. Um, right, so to, just to discuss the, or just to mention the pinwheel again, um, I've divided it into eight sections because in my rainbow, I like to have eight colours. So I like to have a more of a turquoisey section um, because I love, I love, I love turquoise. So red, orange, yellow, green, turquoise, blue, purple, pink. So I'm slightly worried I might get a little bit confused about which section is which. So I'm going to put a little bit of colour on just to mark them out. Um, red, red, orange, orange. Right, but that's just a rough, a rough guide. So it's going to be an explosive Dutch pour. So I'm going to just drizzle lots of paint on in the curves and then I'll blow it out with the hairdryer in that direction of that curve. So it's quite fun to do, quite easy to do because I'm just literally going to be pouring the colours on. There's going to be overlap, so you can see I've got the red section but I'm going into the other two sections. Um, the most important section is nearer the centre to get the colour in the centre. Um, because the colours will be blown out from the centre outwards. So what I will do is just start like this, putting some colour down, and then I will probably come back and fill in gaps. the super scary part blowing this out I think what I'm going to have to do is separate the paintings a bit because I don't want them to splatter onto each other so let's just move this out of the way a minute so first of all I've got the clockwise pinwheel now this is what I'm used to 
So th this is the normal way of doing it. So this, I'm just going to, I'm going to have to keep moving the camera around, uh, the canvas round, and then just blowing from the centre outwards. I have forgotten to put the white in. Is it too late? I wanted just a drizzle of white, which will just brighten things up. You've got some nice bright pink in there. I wonder if that's enough on that one. let's just check so I've got a good red section so red orange yellow green turquoisey blue pink and purple so there's a beautiful beautiful continual flow I need to sort the middle out because I want it to come into a spiral should I do that now or blow the other one out first I think I'll do it now because it's here so I'm going to just try and drag some of the colour round To make a spiral of all the colours. I am so happy they are so bright so colorful love them they are both the same but completely different and I think you have to really concentrate for a minute to work out why they're different I don't actually think it's obvious to start with now I haven't touched these with the exception of the transition between the orange and yellow and the green I've just softened it slightly with my breath I've just blown that green into the yellow there and also just a tiny bit there because it was just slightly stark now let's just talk about the centers I'm not a hundred percent happy with the center at the moment <clears throat> excuse me it's a bit too green um, and this one a bit too white so I think what I would do is just very delicately touch that up once it's dry just do a little bit of coloring you can also see there's so much paint in the center I'm losing my round edge I've got a more of a straight edge there um, and it's just because it's pooling in the center so I think I'm going to just have a little bit of um, embellishing when it's dry only subtly um, but the transition between all these colors is gorgeous so they just flow the pinks the violets the purples and then suddenly you get into the blues and the little cells are so pretty. They're very, very delicate white cells. Love the green. There's some really big organic cells there with that dark green. And that was the deco art green on the turquoise. Oh, something in my paint there. I need to get that out. Um, yellow, orange, red and back round to the pink. Um, I just want the effect in the centre that it's all pulled together. So it does that, I think, but it's not quite right. I will do something, I think. Um, and then the same with this one. Just this beautiful, seamless, effortless blending of the colours from one to the other. You can see the yellow there in amongst the green. Then the blue and the green mixed in together and the turquoise. Um, and the only place I torched was there there was a big chunk of solid white and by torching it it's just broken it up slightly so yeah really really happy really excited to get these dry um, and just to, to sort the centers out a bit more 
So here they are finished side by side. The trickiest thing with these two is deciding how to hang them, I think. Um, I quite like the colour together because I feel like it's almost like it's they're like magnets repelling each other. So this one's pushing in this direction, this one's pushing in this direction because the reds are together. Um, but having said that, I'm quite happy with them in all other directions. Um, I don't particularly like them the same way. Let me just show you if I turn this round simply because I don't think you see the spiral quite as well. I think you just see the spiral complementing the, the different directions of the spiral the first way I had the, had this. Um, anyway, I'll leave them like that for now. Let me show you up close. Um, I've done some little touch-ups to the centres because the centres, one of them, I think it was this one, was incredibly green, far too much green. So I've just painted on by hand. I've just drawn some of the other colours through. I think you can you can probably work out which bits are hand painted, but from a distance, I think it just blends in nicely. Now I love the ripples in this, the effect of the colours just blending together. The little tiny um, spots of white um, really do brighten it up. Really pleased with that. Um, yeah, just love the whole flow of it. Um, and then exactly the same this way, but the other way around. Again, you've got these little pops of white, these white cells, and the colours just blending round. So it's been so much fun doing two pieces, the same but different. Really enjoyed doing these. Um, let me know what you think. Tell me, and also tell me which way to hang these or which way my client should hang them. Um, great, thank you so much for watching. Le any comments you, you think of, please, please leave them. Um, please do hit the thumbs up button. Great, take care. Bye.